Human flight, an ancient dream. The freedom of the bird excites our imagination. Yet, though we have learned to fly with cumbersome machines, the freedom to access the ocean of air wherever we want still eludes us, unlike the bird which can take off and land anywhere, if not always perfectly. Joachim Hissen, aeronautical engineer and pilot, has committed himself to the enterprise of developing fixed-wing flight independent of runways. As a first step in this long-term project, he investigates a revolutionary tailless glider. He has called it the Excellence, Latin for the Wanderer, after the largest bird in the albatross family, the Diomedia Excellence, or Wandering Albatross. Always observing nature's solution to certain technical challenges, he investigated a subtle difference between the way birds and conventional tailless aircraft control their flight. A comprehensive study, including this radio-controlled model, revealed that the bird's control strategy can benefit human designs. Where conventional tailless aircraft adjust their speed by pitching a control surface on the wing up or down, the excellence varies speed by sweeping its wings forward or back, exactly the way a bird does in flight. To test this theory in practice, the Excellence One was built at the University of Pretoria, South Africa. It is an ultralight foot-launchable glider made from composite materials weighing only 65 kilograms. As with any aircraft development, a calculated risk has to be taken. On its first free flight test, disaster struck the Excellence One. Overspeeding during the initial dive and the sudden inversion of stress on the wings broke a wing 2,000 meters above ground. Fortunately, the rocket deployed parachute brought Joachim back down to earth unscathed to start all over again. After the huge investment of time and money, the accident gave progress in the project a serious knock. However, Joachim has since founded the prototype development company Diomedes Innovations to facilitate the pursuit of his dream. Seven years of experience will be incorporated into the next design. Joachim is venturing into unexplored territory in the face of the wisdom of conventional aerodynamics in an exploration of science and soul. The first reward came when the craft lifted him off his feet for the first time on the 12th of April 1996. Although constrained within the bounds of the vehicle test rig, the achievement was nonetheless significant. The concept works. A new specimen has been born into the domain of human aviation. The next craft needs to be hatched to continue the long process of evolution required to perfect it. Today, the ancient dream of human flight is within our reach, not in the first instance as a commercial venture, but as a celebration of the imagination of mankind. <laughs> <laughs>